I haven't walked a road climb in years until I found the real steepest climb in Cebu. This climb is pretty hard. First, let me set the stage. We met up with a group from Ubanta Bike, UTB in short. They are helping us with a mixed terrain race for July 2024. I won't say much about it now, but a lot of the footage from this video is most likely part of the race. It was the same place, man. <laughs> anyway, back to the toughest road climb in Cebu. It's called the Pangamihan Climb. One of the toughest things about this climb is you have to get there first. But I have to say, getting to the climb was one of the most enjoyable cycling I've ever done. Riverside riding in Botaok. Steep climbs in Makna. I can't lie, that was really hard. Oh, we're not just done. Great. Gravel heaven in Biga. Super fun MTB single track heading towards the climb. Mountain bike territory. Mountain bike territory. <laughs> Again, it's called Pangamihan Climb. In Strava, the tough, shortened portion is simply called testing the legs. That was the killer part of the climb for me. Can you imagine 1.74 kilometers with an average gradient of 15.3%? It was tough. While the full version of the climb in Strava is called Meditation Climb, it's 6.22 kilometers long with an average gradient of just 10.7%. So, uh, it's still hard. The funny thing is I call it a road climb because the road is actually very nice cement. It's, it's fine. It's like a nice cemented road climb. So a road bike could definitely roll over the, the road. 
But to get there, it is definitely mountain bike territory. So it's very possible that no road bike has ever gone up that climb. So I have footage of the guys and me going up that climb. But before we get to that, I want to talk about this vlog sponsor, Curve Coffee Collaborators. One of the great things I love about Curve Coffee Collaborators is that they host workshops all over the Philippines. They've hosted coffee cupping and tasting in El Nido, Palawan, another one in Siargao, latte art workshops in Cagayan de Oro, and of course, all kinds of workshops here in Cebu as well. This is in line with their mission to promote the sustainable growth of Philippine specialty coffee. If you'd like to join a workshop, send them a message on their Facebook page at facebook.com slash Curve Coffee Collaborators PH or just be on the lookout for announcements on Curve. Thank you Curve for sponsoring the vlog. Okay, here's the footage of the guys going up the climb. Shout out to Mark for taking the footage, uh, I, I think. Footage of me going up the climb. Climb is too tough for me. Whoa. Are you gonna do my ass on bike? So that's the hill. To be honest, the Pangamihan climb might be fun to do as a single hill climb race, like a time trial hill climb race. The current KOM to the top of the meditation climb as of this recording is by Mark, 35 minutes and 25 seconds. And he's not really a pure climber, so maybe the pure climbers can get up there and obliterate that KOM. Maybe in the future, maybe we'll have a hill climb race up there, who knows? If you are interested in the No Boring Race or you just want to know what's going on with me on a weekly basis, I publish a weekly newsletter called The Villain Diary. You can subscribe here. I share what I'm doing in terms of writing, life, cool stuff I found on the internet, and updates on The Villain Store. Alright, new video next week.